welcome back to my YouTube channel, aka Alexis in Life. In today's video, I am going to be going over my top 10 favorite happy foods that I've made over the years. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a like, comment below, subscribe, follow my Instagram, which is Alexis underscore looms. And please check out my Etsy shop, which the link will be in the description below. Onward. Well, it only makes sense to start out with my first happy food that I ever made was I made um, the happy carrot. And he has aged over the years, as you can see. He's looking a little rough. This is my first happy food I ever made. I did make another carrot because he's looking a little rough. I haven't thrown him out yet, but as you can see, the newer carrot is thriving. I really can't compare them on like if I was a better loomer back then or now because the happy carrot, it still looks like a carrot, but I can't, cause the bands, the bands are gonna break. So there's, I really can't compare them, but the carrot is my first happy food that I ever made. The next happy food that I enjoy is um, the happy ice cream sandwich. I made him Neapolitan. I don't know if anybody else did that, but I made a Neapolitan one. Because I love Neapolitan ice cream sandwiches. It's he basically he basically feels like a book though. Like he's like a tiny little square. He's a cute he's really cute though. And um my multiple layers of ice cream, different flavors, they look really good with him as well. So yeah, you should definitely make this. Oh, next have it. is going to be um, the Happy Takeout Container. The purple one was um, the first one I made. And this blue one is a more recent one that I've made. There's a piece of dog hair on there. So the purple one actually has... It has like the chopsticks that are inside. I have, I had those like shoved in the middle and the noodles. They, this stuff does come out. So you just shove the chopsticks in there and then you shove like the noodles in there and you can literally do whatever you want, so. I kind of messed it up though <laughs> after I took that out. Oops, that's fine. And then I just have noodles in this one. I just have noodles in the blue one. I don't have, I don't have um, chopsticks or anything in this guy. I probably did at some point, but I don't know where they went. So takeout containers super cute they have they have a handle on them too and honestly if you wanted to you probably could like you could probably close it up as well but it's not going to be like flat like a takeout container but yeah super cute overall i would make this it's got a little handle super cute uh, the next happy food I have here is the happy watermelon. So this watermelon is my first watermelon that I make, that I made. And as you can see, um, it's not really pointy at all. So I did recently give it another try and it looks a lot better. And I even added like watermelon seeds onto the back of this one, which I didn't do for that one. So with the watermelon, I have definitely improved my looming skills with the newer watermelon. But yeah, the watermelon is adorable. You should definitely make this guy Next as well. Next up on my list is going to be the Happy Fry. 
just because who doesn't like happy fries and the fries are removable so you can make as many fries as you want and shove them shove them in i only put four because i think at the time when i made this i was going for like kids meal kids meal vibes so yeah here is happy fry super cute super easy and simple as well i've got the happy strawberry Happy Strawberry is basically all cap bands, which makes it a longer to make, but once you have all of your um, cap bands made, it's really, really quick. Just super cute, and the cap bands give it like a really good, a really good look. You should definitely, definitely make this because it's super adorable. Perfect for summer too. So up next is one of my earlier happy foods as well. I've got the happy strawberries. These ones are a little rough as you can see. Um, they do look a little rough, but I did make a newer version of the cherries as well. And this is how they came out. They came out looking phenomenal. So they've definitely improved. I've definitely improved my skills with um, since I've made these cherries. But yeah, these are actually super cute. I love them so much. I love cherries. You should definitely make these. They're super adorable. Great for summer too. Up next is going to be the happy pineapple. The pineapple is just really cute. And it is a lot of capping bands, but those once you make them all ahead of time, the process of actually like making the pineapple is super simple and look at him. He's adorable. My second to last favorite happy food that I have made is the happy cereal bowl. The cereal bowl is a very simple design and you, have, you, you only have to pre-make the cereal that you put inside, which is basically just circles, which is super simple. And you also get to make this tiny little spoon for it, which just makes this little bowl even cuter. Spoon is removable. And then I'll show you what the, this is what the bowl, this is basically how it comes off the loom, I'm pretty sure and then you just roll it up like that and add your spoon and there is your happy cereal bowl now we are on to the last one of my top 10 happy foods it's really tough because i all the happy foods are really cute but i have to end this video with the banana peel it's looking a little rough today, but I choose the banana peel because this reminds me of Mario Kart and the banana peels that are in that game. And it's just like a unique design. Like who would have thunk, who would have thought that um, Crafting Fantastic would make a banana peel? Like I wish there was more than three peels, but like you still, you still get the idea that it's, that it's a banana peel super cute so yeah this is the last one of my top 10 happy foods so thank you for watching this video if you did enjoy this video please give it a like comment below subscribe follow my instagram which is alexis underscore looms and please check out my etsy shop which will be in the description below bye